on to stage five of Paris-Nice, beginning in Saint-Just and finishing in Saint-Sauveur. Heading into the southeast of the country now, a long day, 188.8 kilometers, with five classified climbs and a big unclassified climb, six kilometers long, just 12 k's from the finish. And a big breakaway got away. On a day where 18 riders failed to start, most suffering from sickness, several climbed off. It was 10 up the road, the most dangerous of which four minutes 30 from the lead. Well, just under 45 kilometers to go. It was well controlled behind for Jumbo Visma, who had the lead. And Brandon McNulty, on the final classified climb of the day, decided to have a go. He was the headline name in the breakaway. Behind, Primoz Roglic was soon losing allies. Arker Samsic made it difficult. Wout van Aert in the yellow jersey was dropped. Just after Christophe Laporte, also on the GC podium, lost contact with the group. So we were going to have a new yellow jersey. It was set to be Primoz Roglic and stay in the Jumbo Visma team. At the front of the race, McNulty was riding away with it over the top of the final classified climb of the day with a minute lead. And those chasing him broken down to a group of just three. In the peloton, five and a half minutes behind, they waited to see if there'd be any change. McNulty still maintaining his gap despite a very technical descent. Main chasers, Mattel Jorgensen of Movistar. With him, Franck Bonamour from BMB Hotels. On that final unclassified climb, it was the intermediate sprint, and McNulty's gap had grown to a minute and a half by this point, as Ineos Grenadiers were one of the teams trying to take it to an ever-increasingly isolated Primoz Roglic. No teammates left for him at this point. Simon Yates would chase. Vlasov would have a go as well. But Danny Martinez really didn't get too much room to try and put any time into anybody. Roglic did defend himself. He'd finished closing the gap. And after that, there'd be no more GC action, as we were amongst the main favourites for the final victory. McNulty had time to celebrate. A rare occasion, heading into the finale with such a big gap, almost two minutes by this point. The man who started the season in fine form, the 23-year-old from Arizona in the USA, with a fifth career victory, but his biggest. Parini Stage 5, his first ever World Tour success. Second place went to Bonamour, third going to Jorgensen, who took quite a bit of time back in the general classification. Talking of which, the final sprint to the line showed Pierre Latour in fine form, but unable to force the gap. McNulty winning the stage by just under those two minutes. The main group coming back at 5 minutes 43. And as McNulty celebrated, Primoz Roglic will prepare to pull on the yellow jersey for the second year in succession. A 39-second gap over Simon Yates, 41 to Latour with Martinez and Vlasov within a minute. Yates, Kral, Haig and Quintana still up there. Roglic, the third different rider from Jumbo Visma to pull on the leader's jersey. The question now is, can he hold on heading into the final three days? The longer stage will come on day six, 213.6 kilometers. Up and down, another good one maybe for the breakaway with the time gaps now, finishing on the Mediterranean coast in Urbania. Following that, the mountain stage, the Nice stage, still all to play for, but Primoz Roglic is in the lead with three days to go. Add a reminder that you can watch on demand, uninterrupted, on GCN Plus each and every day. Quelques instants, bien évidemment, avec un changement de garde en haut au niveau du classement général. On va lui laisser quelques secondes.